So I've already caused a six-way civil war in the United States. What if I did that same thing in the continent of Europe? And I think not just the continent of Europe, but for some reason North Africa as well and a little bit of Asia. This is the most detailed European map you can play in the game of Risk. So I think this is going to be pretty epic. Now I get to choose where I want to go first. Here are the regions to give us extra units per turn. Iceland up here would give us a quick two and Scandinavia three. So maybe we want to start up there. Could try to go after North Africa, but this is a lot of stuff. I guess Scandinavia is broken down into five regions as well. There's only three in Iceland though. And then we'll be able to do naval invasions to the British Isles and maybe get to France at some point. Russia is going to be the most difficult to form because they just have so much over here that they got to take. I think I'm going Viking status. I'm going to start in South Iceland. We have purple in Ireland. So Ireland is just one thing. We have a united Ireland, baby. I guess I'll go for it since no one took Northeast Iceland. Boom. All right. So we're going to start off getting two extra troops per turn. I will take that. Now I need to make sure that none of the AIs are forming monopolies over certain regions. I'm kind of just hoping that the other AIs will step in to let them not do that. Ooh, should I get Scotland next? I kind of want Scotland, but I was considering Scandinavia as well. Oh my goodness, this game made the classic mistake of including Finland in Scandinavia. And then they didn't include Denmark. Oh man, my geography weebs out there are gonna go nuts for this. Wow, still nobody here. So I'm gonna go, I guess I'll go there in the middle. Is anyone gonna stop me from getting London? I mean, either way, I have to take over Ireland and that's fine. Wow, they're really gonna let me do it. Okay, so we're gonna have kind of a uh, Northwest invasion of this continent, I guess. I'm gonna get something here in Scandinavia. Now, wait a second. It looks like for the most part, everyone's pretty spread out. Now my biggest thing is making sure no one gets like a monopoly. Do I want something in Finland? At this point, I feel like I'm going to reinforce certain areas so much that any other new spots that I get, I'm just going to let them die off. That's like really horrible strategies, but I'm going to be focusing on my offensive, not so much defensive. There is going to be a little bit of a battle for Morocco between yellow and black. Please tell me, I feel like I should put something in Russia just to stop anyone from getting Russian territory because that's scary. As soon as someone unites that, which, you know, orange has three over here. Or do they have more? Ooh, Crimea is not included in the Russian Empire. Way to dodge that bullet. Okay, so now it's time to reinforce our troops. Well, the first thing we do is take Iceland. That's that's definitely on agenda number one. So we can attack from Mercia. Is that how you say that? Man, I was so scared of saying that, but whatever. I'm gonna go ahead and take Iraq since I'm kind of this British Empire. We'll draw lines on Iraq later. I'm sure that won't go horribly. And okay, now it's time to place our troops. Now, I'm afraid of making purple so scared that they put everything in Ireland. That would be a problem because right now I'm feeling pretty good about this. I also want to make Make sure that our troops are near the front lines. We are going to really need to protect London and until we expand our offensive in Norway. I'm going to go ahead and put one in London. Maybe I shouldn't have done that, but I don't want purple to really feel like I'm a threat yet. Maybe I'll put one here. Purple chill. Purple chill. Focus on... So they put their first troop in Denmark. As long as we don't get kicked out of Iceland, we'll be good. And I only have to worry about purple for that. Okay, there's got... They gotta be. They, they, you have to be noticing I've got... Four, yeah, I was going to say. I'm going to keep it up. I know this is going to scare them, but... Oh, okay. There we go. I guess I got to do it. He's going to put a third guy, more than likely, unless he has other things. I mean, he's spread out throughout this continent. All right, it's draft time. So I immediately am starting off with extra troops because I locked down Iceland. So I'm going to put all of them right here. No, actually, we don't. I'm going to, I'm not going to be that greedy. There are two dudes. We should be able to take out these two dudes. I'll put one here. I'm going to, I'm going to lock down this because here's the thing. When I take Ireland, then everyone's going to try to start attacking me. So I need to like build up my defenses in Scotland and London. So boom, we're just going to go in there. It's seven versus two. We have a 100 100% chance of winning. All right, that's good. I don't want to put everyone over there. Okay, actually, I guess I will. So we're going to end our attack phase. I don't want to do anything else. I'm going to move everything from Ireland. What do we need to worry most about? Because here's the thing. Right now, it's only white in Brittany that can attack me in London. I'm a little concerned about Oslo. I guess I'll move everything in Scotland and begin because the next region we want to take over is definitely Scandinavia. This fake Scandinavia, which is actually like a weird Nordic lands without Denmark. Okay, I don't have time for this white. Let's go. All right, now we're getting nine troops. Troops. This is already looking pretty good. As long as nobody else is already about to get like a monopoly. Russia seems pretty mixed. What I should do is maybe put one guy there. I could probably afford it and in Iraq because I'm feeling good. What do we need to take next? Scandinavia, there would be four territories here. I could go after France because I already have a lot of stuff in this area. I'm going to go ahead and just be a little risky.
risky and just try to hold this down because black has a lot down this way. Maybe I should add one more. I don't feel good about adding one more. I'll just put them up to two. So they're just really sitting there to give the AI a hard time. Technically, I need four regions this way to get Scandinavia, but only three to get France. This would be a lot more rough, but maybe I'll try it. I'm going to go one in Burgundy and then the rest in Paris. And then from here, I'm going to attack from London to Brittany. Okay, we didn't lose anything there. That was beautiful. From Paris to South France. What do we do next? I'm going to attack with this six. Okay, that was all right. Okay, so now we have France. I'm not going to expand anymore there. We might as well, since I've got seven troops in Scotland, move into Oslo. Okay, that's probably about it. I'm already down to four. And I'm going to take this these four out of here probably to Gascony because there's not much in Germany there's only like one troops in Germany like one stacks basically oh wow someone's already about to get Germany I got 15 troops all right so I'm gonna continue to really bug the AI I'm gonna like maybe put four here now in Moscow and then four in Iraq they're literally just gonna be there to annoy them I don't think I have to worry too much what, what is this what is Vienna part of uh, the Alps I'm not gonna worry too much about that I think our next goal is to get Scandinavia locked down and then maybe start to move a little bit into Germany let's see here one two three okay I'm putting them all in Oslo and then from here we're gonna attack northern Sweden I'm not gonna pull in all of them I'm gonna keep some back Can I take out Denmark with five versus two and can I get the remaining part over here while still being able to defend that's what I'm gonna try all right so I'm the last one now we're gonna move to Finland we should be good and then we should be able to defend Finland from black if they try to come in over here do I want to do this I'm gonna do it I it's scary yeah, I lost two troops there so I'm gonna have to sit with my two dudes so we have Scandinavia I am not gonna move around any troops we're looking good and we might be able to get a card bonus next turn oh uh, purple kicked me out of the Dutch all right so uh, out of the Netherlands sorry what is this what is that is occupied what does this mean am I getting Oshlis right now in Austria because that I've never seen that before in this game is this some new mechanic I don't know what that is all right I'm not putting anything else in Syria and Moscow they should be fine okay I think our biggest focus is I've got to move through Germany I can't let purple get all this so we're gonna need to like rip apart Germany here and I think I should be able to yeah I'm putting 21 in Denmark a 21 stack and I'm just gonna roll through got to get the Rhine give me back the Netherlands thank you Ooh, last three we're gonna see how bad this Bavarian attack is not bad okay and now Berlin and Prussia. All right. So I'm probably going to have to stop now. I'm going to reinforce Bavaria a bit. I'm going to split. Yeah, we'll do something like that. Oh, I didn't even check my cards. We'll probably get a bonus next round. Yeah, they don't want none of this. Oh, did they kick me out of Iraq? They did. All right. Well, that, that sucks. Purple's probably going to get Egypt here. And so they'll be starting to get some bonuses. Oh, do I get more troops if I deploy here? Is that what that's trying to tell me? Well, then do I have... I don't have any matching cards. I guess. Do we go after Spain and Portugal? I'm actually already close enough. Oh, I could probably take here. Yeah, let's, so let's do a little experiment. I'm going to put half and I'm going to put the other F here. I guess we'll go after Iberia next. I want to go... Uh, I don't know if I want to take all of them that way. I guess I will. I'm going to take all of them that way. I'm going to take out Hungary and then split. Then from Bavaria, I don't really like that they can... Yeah, I'm going to attack in the Alps, which should be some pretty bad bonuses. Should I, should, uh, I'm getting greedy, but I'm going to go after Venice too. Okay, this was that was a good move. That was just to help defend me. I didn't like having my territory so open. Like if an AI like threw everything at me, then I wouldn't get as big of a bonus next round. What's the best way to do this? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I just got to make sure they're not going to attack me from Morocco. Oh, we're not going to take this. We're taking some pretty big casualties. I thought we would. I mean, I could try to take it and then reinforce. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Okay, we're going to stop at four. Do I have... Where, where are my reinforcements at? I've got... Oh, I can't bring in any reinforcements. All right, so it's possible that they do kick me out of Morocco. Out of South Spain, I mean. But from Morocco. Maybe I'll move them around, even though... Oh, well, I do have these guys. I've got two and two. I'm not worried about them kicking me out of Venice. I just got that so they wouldn't steal France or Germany away from me. I think I need all this. Ooh. Okay, you know what? I'm going to actually pull from Prussia. From Prussia to... I'm gonna try that. They're still gonna attack me and they still might kick me out. Oh, they didn't do it. Ooh, I got lucky. I've got 36 troops. Wow. I don't even know where to start next. I guess we want to get all of Italy. Maybe move into Russia. Yeah, I'm gonna split the 36 reinforcements I have to divide between three. So 12 reinforcements. Some in Finland, some in Italy, and then the rest in Spain. And then those are gonna be our next major attack. Oh yeah, I gotta trade those in. Okay, I got 12 more troops now. Who's about to get a monopoly? They are. So I'm gonna try to move in to this like Polish Lithuanian territory they made. All right, so this is gonna hurt because I'm fighting six. Oh, it didn't hurt as bad as I thought. And now they're pretty undefended. So we're just gonna move in the Sahara Desert. I wish uh, there was like bonuses to attacking and defending in the territories. I know that's hard to do, especially because every map is different in this game. Okay, I'm gonna stop right there. Ooh, I can actually provide some reinforcements by island hopping in Italy. So I'm gonna take the south here, move into Sardinia. There we go. And then 
Boom. So just to help out a little bit, I could probably keep going. Should I keep going? Can I take? Yeah, I could. I could probably do it. Famous last words. That's where you go wrong in risk. Oh, I'm down to nine. Um, yeah, we can probably take it. Yeah, we'll be fine. Let's do it, and now we can keep all our defenses right there. Uh, what was the other thing I need to do? Oh yeah, we need to pop into Poland. Moving into Poland from Germany. Classic. I don't really care much if you guys. Uh, kick me out. I'm gonna be pretty aggressive now. Like, we might lose a battle or two during the AI's phase, but, you know, what are you gonna do? Oh, here we go. We can finally link up with Moscow. I'm gonna keep some back. Yeah, we'll just do something like that. I don't know. All right, that's fine. What do I want to fortify? I'll take this three and put this three, I guess, there. That'll probably be my next big invasion plan. Oh, they did. Ooh, ooh, that hurt. They took me out of Germany, so I would have had even more troops. Do I have a bonus here? Nope, no matching cards. All right, yeah, I'm gonna go like, I'm just gonna be pretty simple with this. All right, so we have an African front and an Eastern Europe front. That's familiar. From the Sahara Desert, ooh, that hurts, but I'm just gonna slowly move in through here. Ooh, Benghazi. I don't really want to stop there. I'm not gonna take everything. I am probably going to attack Greece. Take Greece, we probably don't need that much. So, okay, I'll stop and then just move up here just to bug them. And now I need to get all this stuff back. Thanks a lot. Yeah, the AI needed to unite lands way faster. If that wasn't obvious by now. Yeah, they're trying to bug me, but it's not going to work. I, why is there no um, movement? You can't do anything from the Black Sea. You would think there would be some sort of land crossing I could make. All right, it's time to end this right now. Blaze Boy's gone. Oh yeah, I forgot that you can destroy people and then you get more cards that way. Wow, that doesn't seem fair. This game is just mean the way, um, like Risk as a whole, they incentivize you to kill people as fast as possible. I wish there was a way to like vassalize people. That's the way I play this game. And we're slowly moving into the Middle East from three different sides. It's not fair when you have a giant death stack of 40. All right, well, yeah, the AI made some pretty crucial mistakes in the very beginning, uh, allowing me to get Iceland and then not really reinforcing Iceland. Ireland. That's what purple needed to do. Once I got Iceland and the United Kingdom, it was over. Probably should have increased the difficulties there, but thanks for watching. And big thanks to this month's supporters. Luxembourg lover. Alfonso M6. Arian after Drew's hours. Argentinian grandpa. Bonsky W. Bring back Poland ball. McBlur. I stole Drew's pet I dog. Love Marks, Majestic Unicorn. Max Cooper. Rai the Pie. Why am I doing this? Drew's Arab Sugar Crump Daddy. Populous, Mimo Michael, Louise. Canadian Union. Adam Stillerman. Alex Whitley is Megachad. Norwell. Philip R.F. Robert E. Orton 5610. And Sussy Moliati.